Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! If you can't beat them, join them! Shh! Don't make a peep! A little more to the right! <laughs> the best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's 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 a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> Show me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more! Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong hmm? way! Help me! No! Oh, I... I mean... Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. Why? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> ah, yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, 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 
hey, Mitch, you know, Vicky's a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... That's why we never hang out. Look at that! Aww, so cute! Ba ba boo boo! No! Arf! 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 Honey, I think they're trying to tell us something! Arf! 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 Wolf! 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 Arf! Oh! Baby ate everybody's food! Ha! Here we go! He's out of here! And it's all... Our fault. Hmm? We should have left more food for him. Baby's going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony together. I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it. And together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house. Except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. <laughs> You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Is there anything we can do? Do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid...
so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You're ours, Golden Rake. <sighs> Do you really think we have a chance to win the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest? Absolutely. Rosebud, this is the year we finally win this thing. Uh, it's the first year we've entered. Exactly. I can feel it. No, not my flowers. Freeze, please. Inside, this yard is hereby off limits until the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest is over. Stay inside all day? What are we supposed to do? Watch TV! <laughs> oh no! Vic is falling asleep in front of Fishbowl TV! Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Slick trick, Wash. Yeah. <gasps> What's that? Barbarossas! When he wants to cool off, the Barbarossa rolls in the mud, just like his cousin, the wild boar. We're family. I can see the resemblance. Ha! Stay tuned for the entire season of The Wonderful World of Barbarossas. <sighs> Come on, Buttercup. Only wild animals could do such a thing. <laughs> Did you hear that? They think it was us. It's okay. We were watching the wonderful world of Babarusas all night. And how do we prove that? We're going to have to find the creature with no manners who did this. <laughs> Victoria Livingstone, where were you in the middle of the night? Tell him, you were in the yard. What? I was asleep, <sighs> having horrible nightmares thanks to your Babarusa cousins. Cousins who like to run in the jungle and play in the mud. Ugh. 
Impressive, aren't they? In fact, they're showing the wonderful world of Babarusas again tonight. Uh, no way. My turn. I'm watching Fishbowl TV. Where's the remote? Right here. <laughs> Give it! Ah! Baba Roosters love to roll around in the mud. They never ah! Scissors. Scissors. <sighs> Watering can. Watering can, stat. Watering can. Well? I think they'll pull through. Be strong. But if it happens again... I'm not sure I'll be able to save them. Don't worry, Daffodil. I'm going to stand guard all night. I still wonder a tiny bit. Was it really wild animals or our animals? Well, this gang can get a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> they think it was us. Well, it'll be extra sweet when we catch the culprit. We're going to get extra food. Yes! yes! Baba Rusa is an extremely social animal. They regularly rob each other's snouts. Jim Redpod, spread out. The wild beast is escaping. <laughs> We're finally going to discover who the wild beast is. Dead. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Washington, is that you? Oh no, Mr. Livingstone is going to see Sam without his disguise. This is a catastrophe. Uh, quick, Sam, gotta get home. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a wild beast, Wash? Don't move, boy. I'm coming. Way to go, Wash. You chased away the wild beast. Whatever it was, you saved our garden. And to think that we thought it could have been you. Sorry, boy. <laughs> Me? The wild beast? Impossible. You must have watched too many Babarusa episodes on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, you started dreaming of Babarusas. <laughs> Next thing you know, you were sleepwalking as one of them. <laughs> So, I am the Garden Beast? Don't worry, I've got a great plan. All you have to do is stay up and not sleep at all until the Garden of the Year contest is over. Not sleep? But I love to sleep. Almost here. 
Good thing Eugenie's keeping Sam awake. Yeah, but I'm not keeping Sam awake. Susie's doing it. I'm not keeping Sam awake because I'm here. <gasps> Sam! Sam! What's original about the Bobby Rooster is that sometimes it behaves like a cat. What? Indeed, sometimes he likes to play like a cat. <laughs> Here they come. I can't stand it. Stay calm, Buttercup. I am not a flower, okay? <laughs> oh, no! He's going to tear up the garden uh, again. Not if we catch him before he does. Follow me, girls. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Actually, this show isn't so bad. Look at this. The wild boar is surprisingly fast on its feet. For a fatty, that is. <clears throat> no, not that door! Welcome to our garden. The most peaceful spot in our home. Faced with danger, the wild boar proves to be a formidable adversary. here to think about what you've done. <laughs> At the end of the day, the battle rooster falls asleep, but sometimes in the middle of the night, he wakes up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hmm. Can we play? For the seventh time, no! For the seventh time, why not? <laughs> You're too little. Now, shh! For once, oh. he's right. Shh! Hello! Hello. We're, We're home! home. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sam? You know, those two are becoming real slugs. They don't even get up anymore when we come home. What they need is some exercise, but not with me. What do you say we hire a dog walker? A what? A dog walker. A babysitter for dogs. But instead of sitting, you walk. Nowadays, they take cats, too. How modern. The walker could take them out when we're at work. Or when we're watching TV. Did you hear that, boys? You're getting your very own walker. Yay! Awesome! You have no idea what that is, do you? It's cool. I know that much. Maybe it's a kibble <laughs> detector. <laughs> or a fried chicken dispenser. <laughs> Close. 
close. It's a car. For extra smart pets like you. Your own car? car? Look at them. I think they know their new walker is coming. <laughs> Washington and Sam, meet your fantastic professionals. Gracie and Alfie. Gracie and Alfie? Are they your drivers? We're going to take you two on a nice long walk. <laughs> very funny, Vic. See you later, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. We'll be very professional. Sit. Good. Sit. Remember, Alf, we're not allowed to cross the street. When you come to a corner, what do you do? Turn right. Isn't that the same house? us in this hole. wondering myself what those little brats did all this time. I'll bet you a bajillion cookies the kids have gone home. So 
So long, guys. See you soon. It's almost six o'clock. Where are my Gracie and Alfie? Oh! Oh! Hey, Wash, do you have this bajillion cookies on you? We'll find the children. They can't have gone far. This is only the fourth largest city in the country. You two, inside. Heard you lost the kids. Way to go. Ooh, ooh. That's some big time trouble, Wash. Yeah, everyone seems pretty upset. Uh, yeah, kids are like super precious to adults and stuff. Sam, we gotta find those kids before the adults do. But Mrs. L says... And your super snout will do the job. <laughs> the woods? The pet ends right here. Where could they have gone? There, oh. on the ground. Mitch, he must have smelled the cookies and grabbed the kids. Oh no, that explains why they didn't come home. Mitch ate them. Not necessarily. Hopefully he still has cookies. But Sam, we gotta unzip. What? We're gonna rescue those kids. We gotta go in deep. And we can't risk our wild friends seeing Doggy and Kitty. Too dangerous. They'll try to eat us for dinner. We look delicious. <laughs> hey there, Wash. I'd offer you some cookies, but I ate them all. No problem, Mitch. We'll go get some. Sam, now would be a very good time to go home and get Mitch some more cookies. But how do I... Sam, yeah. now! Lots of cookies coming up. Hey, let's all play a game while we wait. Mmm, like what? How about hide and seek? We learned it in the city, but it's super simple. You go and hide in the forest and I'll try and find you. If I don't, then you win. Oh, I'm good at hiding. I'm gonna win. And for the prize, more cookies. Deal. <laughs> You'll never find me. And now, the kids. <laughs> What's up? One minute they're running after us, the other minute they're running away. Kids. Ah, my costume. Nice move! <laughs> wow, they're hard! These cookies are weird. They're diet cookies. They're made with wood flour. You can build a house with that. <laughs> Sam, you're naked! Duh, I know! Listen, Mitch has the kids. Mitch wants cookies. You get cookies to Mitch, you hear me? Easy! Oh, 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 Washington! I'd know that weird bark anywhere. Oh, how did you find me so fast? Washington! Oh, Gracie and Alfie? Mmm, -hmm. they're sweet, and I'm hungry. Gracie and Alfie? Blech. Don't you want cookies? Hey, where are my cookies? Washington! Huh? This time, I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. Hmm. Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug up! Tatnam is for real cats! I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Okay. Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> No. 
<laughs> the winner gets extra birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, you okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Nice throne! What do you want? I said, nice throne! Mm -hmm. Maybe we want it! Little birdie talk big, but can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? Thanks, Sam. Yes, I mean it. It's almost dead. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! Fluffy, yeah. I'm leaving for bingo. Don't I'll be home soon. It's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh. <laughs> For you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get back. Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Please, we just want to. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go! No! <laughs> Yo, 
your fault, Victoria. It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. <laughs> well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. You, you Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Got something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba. <laughs> Samantha, Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no. Fang. Ooh, one and only kitten. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's uh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> what in the world is that? It's Victoria! <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Check it out, Wash. Vic is fighting like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means... Well, for starters, we could cheer. 
Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. Hmm? Come on, break it up, guys. I'm gonna come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussycat of my... Yeah. Dreams? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget! Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. Bravo! Way to go! Awesome! <sighs> Whew. Boy, I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too! I could drink buckets! Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it gonna be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, thing, I hate to break it to you, but... <laughs> Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Vic, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You pretty much get it. Mm -hmm. Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me, Samantha. Before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one! 
one you're supposed to be crazy about. What in the world is going on here? It's a game! Join in! Huh? Leave Sam alone! I knew it would come down to this. Ha! Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha? You wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof, Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of black compared to Samantha. You, Fang, check out your sweetie Samantha now. Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. Great. Now you're back to worshipping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. This is what you've always wanted. Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Want to explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. <laughs> that reminds me. I'll be right back. Gotta go real bad. Like I was saying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Can always snip out a boar. In the wild, they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We've got to do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, 
They can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam, Washington, uh, uh, what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I don't know. It's a U-turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure. We'll get it. Time to turn it off. What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! Hey, Victoria, have you by any chance seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam! <laughs> Get it, Fluffy? No! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No! Oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. Because the sun is shining and it's a brand old day. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Uh -huh. Okay, step one of Operation Tail, infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes, this is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. 
You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> A giant talking sock! Ah! <laughs> wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay. Jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Roll. Figure us out. Yeah, in this couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're going to help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll, uh, take the stairs. Huh? Huh? Oh. Wow! Amazing! Okay, let's go! You sure? Don't worry. Ha-ha, <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, they need me. Well, I think it's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. <laughs> We did it, Washington, we did it! I can't believe it! Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello, mm -hmm. I helped too, you're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hey, anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now. But I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. 
You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Sam! Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, oh, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is going to be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we <laughs> find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! no. A roll of toilet paper. No! no. A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> Ooh, that is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttlebutt. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. 
Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, ah, yay! <laughs> Eugenie! Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. Ah. Ah. Sam, I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Whoa, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. Ah! Sam, you smell fantastic. <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> Time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> yeah, smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew, that's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey, oh. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much! Please, Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet! I'll do anything! Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? <laughs> okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <sighs> Thanks. You 
are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Just look at it, Sam. <laughs> Leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy Hungry with the brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Greasy and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know! <laughs> <sighs> oh, a toy xylophone? The worst of the worst! can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah. boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Being a good boy makes my face hurt! <laughs> Stupid kids! Never had a clue what happened! <laughs> That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Meow! Arf woof arf! What? Bunnies don't get to make excited sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Children. Mrs. Appleton, uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I... Your music toy is lost, sweetheart. No, Mommy, I want Let's it. Let's get out of here. Normally, I wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency. Mm. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. They're really sweet kids. You remember. <sighs> they just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. 
<laughs> I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh, no, Alfie and Gracie. Wait, this should be good. Good boys. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> the Painbot 3000. Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Washington, are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> These leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little angels! Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? Let me think about that. Mm, yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! Uh, you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it, now! Okay! <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely! Oh, 
toy! Your bunny and birdie found our toy! Wow, what good girls! Good <laughs> girls! <laughs> the leftovers? That must be Mrs. Appleton. Oh, we're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we... Hey. Oh, you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty. <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, we'll tear them apart. <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> come on, kids. <sighs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You think we were living with a couple of wild animals? Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Saw me. That was a close call. Yeah. Oh, diary. I hope you had a nice nap because I have a lot of secrets to put in you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell Fluffy everything, like how Washington drives me wild. Flying that high? She likes to peek into other birds' nests. She gets decorating tips. Ah, uh, girls. <laughs> Ouch! Huh? It better be a joke book. Well, it's got a bunch of funny pictures. Let me see. Oh. Oh. You were supposed to keep an eye on Washington and Sam. Quick, go make sure they haven't destroyed our catnip. <laughs> Wait! Hey? Wait, Washington! Uh, oh, hey, Nugget. I saw you earlier in the yard. <laughs> huh? You saw me earlier in the... Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> Nugget, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> of course. I want the entire world to know. <laughs> no, please. You can't do that. Uh, really? Oh, yeah. Of course. You're right. Because I'm a cat and you're a... Please, Nugget. This has to remain just between us. A secret. Our little secret. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, all I really want is to hang out with you, Washington. No. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, cool. a friend with me. <laughs> so, you've been having fun with your new buddy Nugget, huh? While I was all alone, talking about my favorite shows with myself. Oh, Sam, you don't understand. I understand she's your fancy new friend and I'm just a wild boar from the woods. No, no, I had no choice. No choice. <laughs> she knows our little secret. <laughs> what? And if I don't do what she wants, she's going to tell everyone I'm a fox. And if that happens, we're all doomed. Yeah, but I don't want to leave TV. Hey, Sam, what about the elves? Them too. Goodbye, elves. I love you, TV. Sam, just chill. Go play with Eugenie and Susie and pretend like you don't know a thing. Okay. I mean it. They'll get all freaked out. Washington, <laughs> you coming? <sighs> Gotta go. Oh, diary! I have so much to say today! Huh? Where is it? Diary! Where are you? Oh, diary! How could you have gotten lost? What are you looking at? A picture book. A hilarious picture book. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. The fat cat and that weird looking dog with the hearts all around him. <laughs> it almost looks like Washington. And that cat. She looks familiar too. Yeah. My head hurts. Too much thinking. I gotta find Wash. <laughs> Nugget, why are you crying? It's nothing I've done, right? I lost my diary! Your what? <laughs> my diary! It's where I write all my secrets. <laughs> huh? All your secrets? Does that mean our little secret? Yes, especially our little secret. <laughs> <gasps> We gotta find it! But I've looked everywhere. What am I gonna do? Without my diary, it's gonna be impossible not to tell Fluffy! No, no! No! No, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Washington. I'm very expressive. The vet said so. Can't you just express yourself silently? I would, Washington. But a lot of times my mouth doesn't even check with me before I say stuff. I can't help myself. I'm terrible at keeping secrets from her without it. If I can't, I might as well tell the world! No, 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 don't do that. We don't want the world to find out. Listen, I guess maybe you just go ahead and 
tell Fluffy everything. Don't you mean we? Oh, right, we. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Wash. Sam, I don't have a second to lose. We have to go tell her sister our little secret. What? Why? Because she lost her diary. Diary? The book where she writes all her secrets. She says without it, she has to express herself yeah. by blabbing about me to Fluffy. Otherwise, she'll tell the whole world. Uh, diary? Nugget? Ooh! <laughs> that diary thing you're reading, whose is it? Nuggets, of course. Yeah? Yeah, it's her diary. That's why it's so funny. Nugget's diary? I need that diary right now! Yeah, right. Check back next week. Give it to me! I need it! <gasps> no way! I'm not done yet! I want to see how it ends! Sorry, but it'll end bad for all of us if I don't get this diary back! Diary? Nothing about... Nothing about my costume in here? So that means... She never saw you out of your costume! <laughs> oh! I saw you earlier. In the yard. <laughs> the only thing she saw was you! Waving to her! At least she thought you were waving to her. Phew! Washington, you huh? coming? We gotta do what we gotta do. Time to wake her up and spill the beans. Wait, uh... Nugget? It's always gonna be complicated between us. Let's be realistic. You're a cat. Meow, meow. I'm a dog. Woof, woof. Your sister is always going to be an obstacle between us. <laughs> I know. It's tragic, but also tragically romantic. And no matter what happens, we'll always have our little secret. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you drive me wild. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Now and then, a fox needs a little solo time. Rush, speed up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat flap? Uh, well, technically... And why are there bird doors? Because generally, people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that! Mr. just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me. Hello, I'm a fox. 
We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were gonna watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, huh? Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stone, see this! Watch you, kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure. I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does it just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh. <laughs> Should have done this months ago. Um. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 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 What do you want? What are you doing down there? I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. <laughs> Me? Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> Where did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck. 
Dummy, we're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up. Push. No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget. I know, Fluff. I forgive you. <laughs> may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little uh, alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah, uh, but we gotta dig. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! Washington? No dig! No dig! Bad boy! We've got a digger! Digger, reveal yourself! <gasps> And my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where! I need help! Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget! I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine! <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! I just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, watch it. <laughs> okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Uh, Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. 